we join a Dr. Russell Mitermeyer, the world's leading expert in lemurs, and Sir Richard Branson, the British business titan behind the Virgin Group. Madagascar is one of the most unique places on our planet. In many ways, it's the highest priority biodiversity conservation hotspot on Earth. And it's really unique in so many ways, especially in an evolutionary sense. It's the fourth largest island in the world, but it's the largest continental island. That means it's an island that's been isolated from other land masses for a very long time. It's been separated from Africa for 160 million years. It's been separated from India for 90 million years. And so evolution has proceeded on its own course here in Madagascar. And virtually everything that you have here, 90, 95, 100% of the different groups of animals are endemic. They're found here and nowhere else on Earth. Plants, 15, 16,000 species of plants, 80% of them endemic. The reptiles, almost 400 species of reptiles, 95% found only here and nowhere else. But the real group that has attracted attention here and has brought the world to come to Madagascar and to appreciate all of its beauties are the lemurs. This is a group of non-human primates, 102 species and counting because we're still describing new ones, 102 species of lemurs found nowhere else on Earth. This is an amazing uh, radiation of non-human primates and most of them now are endangered with extinction. Russ is perhaps the, the number one expert in lemurs, and he was good enough to invite us to Madagascar to open our eyes, and, um, and have just spent eight fascinating days traveling around Madagascar. Some beautiful happy moments, with the, the dancing shivakas, beautiful rainforest, um, beautiful places on, on, on the sea, and some uh, maybe more incredibly sad moments where you see the complete desolation of Madagascar from slashing and burning and species that are, you know, on the verge of disappearing. I'm in a position where I, I may be able to influence in a small way that, that, um, some of the magnificent species that are, uh, you know, disappearing. And I think if you're in, in a position to do something about it, you've, you've got to do something about it. And uh, lemurs, uh, you know, um, sadly, you know, I mean, there used to be 150, 160 species. Now, only 102 species left in the world and uh, in, in peril. The major threats to uh, to lemurs and their habitats are destruction of the natural forest environments. They're all forest species, and if you cut down their natural forests for cattle pasture, for slash and burn agriculture, for logging, they have no place to survive. On top of that, even if you have some forests that are still intact, there is hunting pressure, and this hunting pressure seems to be increasing. Traditionally there were fadis, there were taboos against hunting certain species of lemurs, but now with the movement of lots of human populations within Madagascar, a lot of migration internally within the country, a lot of these traditions are breaking down and you see lemur species that were previously protected by taboos now being hunted. And these animals simply cannot support hunting pressure. It's almost too late, um, but I think um, if, if um, uh, the world community moves quickly and if the people here in Madagascar move quickly, um, it, it, there's every chance that uh, the problems here can be reversed. All of us need to take responsibility. I think because Madagascar is such a poor country, uh, we in the, in the developed world who are interested in biodiversity, who are interested in maintaining the full range of life on Earth, we need to help. And we need to help in a, in a major way because Madagascar is simply not going to be able to do it on its own. You need government level support in Madagascar. Unfortunately, right now, the government is very weak. We can't count on them to do too much. The real action now is with local communities. People like a community here in uh, Andasi Bay where you have three guide associations who are totally committed to saving these animals, not only in the government reserves that exist, but also they're so excited about this and they see this as a livelihood opportunity, an economic opportunity for them, that they are now uh, creating their own community reserves. There are several community reserves immediately adjacent to 
the government protected areas. There are other reserves that are being created in other parts of this region. And you can do this for pennies. You can do this for a few thousand dollars a year. And these people are so enthusiastic and so committed. The future of lemurs, the future of the forests of Madagascar really depend on these communities. Yeah, well, obviously, I've had the privilege of spending time with uh, two or three of them this, this trip, and um, they're absolutely magnificent and uh, so knowledgeable. And, um, and they, I think they would put their own lives before uh, losing a lemur.